A goom nut. So, hey there guys, welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario 64. So, in the last episode, we really started the game. It was a 30 minute episode, don't know if I'll keep this up or not, but I'm just going to be burning through this game as fast as I can. Uh, we got a partner, Gumbario, and we got our hammer, so let's just break right through here. There we go, problem solved. I have a feeling the road will be long lined with difficulty, so try not to overdo it. Be careful, you stay cool, a calm mind is the wisest. So, I didn't explain a few things about Gumbario. One, if you hit down on the, uh, C-stick or C-pad, or depends on what uh, you're using, this is Goomba Village. My family lives here. There's also a Toad House, which, as you probably know, is a good place to take a rest. That big tree near my house is a great place to get Goomba nuts. So he'll give us information on the area we're in. Or if you walk up to a person, he's my dad, Goompapa. He's willing to do anything for us. You can always count on him. He doesn't really look like it, though. <laughs> but did you see him fixing stuff after that earthquake? That's when I knew he was cool. So he'll give us information on any character. But that's all cool, but how does that actually help us any? If you get the first strike, you don't have to get the first strike, I was just doing that. So he's just explaining his ability to us. So if we switch over to him, we can go to Tattle, and we can Tattle him. This is a Goomba. Goombas are what you'd call small fries. Actually, they're pretty much the smallest of fries. Hey, wait, I'm one of them! Max HP 2, attack power 1, defense power 0. You can just jump on them or whack them with a hammer. These guys are old school. They've been around since you were in Super Mario Brothers. So, yeah. What it is, is he'll just tell us information on the enemy. Give us the full list of their HP, attack power, defense power, and we'll be able to see their HP forever afterwards. Which, honestly, is incredibly useful for battles like this. But besides just that, as you can see, we just jump like that. Well, we have the ability to do that again. He, he's just a standard jump, same as us. It pretty much works the exact same way as us, and it won't be changing throughout the game. But he will be getting more ability as time goes on. I'll explain that when it comes to that. As you can see, we're kind of progressing slowly, yada yada. I'll be cutting out the future battles unless they're interesting. So as you can see, nothing that interesting here. But now we can actually tattle these enemies, which is pretty interesting in my book. So just jump on this guy since there's no use swapping out when, honestly. Boom. Paragoomba. This is a Paragoomba. Obviously, Paragoombas are Goombas with wings. Max HP 2, attack power 1, defense power 0. You can't hit them with the hammer while they're airborne. If you do damage them, they'll fall to the ground and become an ordinary Goombas. Alright. Simple enough. But we're down to 5 HP, because we did a battle archery back there. So I could use my badge point, well not my badge points, my FP, and use my super jump. It's not very useful at this point, since it deals 3 damage, and these guys only take 2 hits anyway. But we'll be finding some enemies fairly soon. That'll be worthwhile. And random drops. When you beat enemies, they'll drop coins, uh, little hearts that heal your HP, and little flowers that heal your FP. All really useful stuff. Sadly, you can't hit, uh, hit the hats off of these guys. Rather than just attacking the Bat Goomba, I'm going to take care of this guy since he deals 2 damage. Spike Goomba. The Spike Goombas are Goombas with spikes on their heads. Max HP 2, attack power 2. That's the difference. Defense power 0. Whatever you do, don't jump on their spikes so you get hurt or even paralyzed. Paralyzed is a terrible status effect where you won't be able to attack. I almost jumped on his head. I almost did it. <laughs> Alright, so these guys are fairly simple, yada yada, just smash their heads in, and you can also jump on their heads. So, nothing really special about Goombas in general. All these Goombas are fairly simple enemies that I can beat within a turn. But these red blocks give you badges. This is the close call badge, a really useful badge that I will be equipping right now. Whenever I'm in danger, which I believe I am in danger right now, enemies will sometimes miss, so that's really useful. Click on the sign, just like earlier, whatever's on the sign pops out. That won't be a common theme, that's just in this area. And, no this is a waste, still doing it, so not worth my time here. So let's just see them burn. 
three damage per enemy. No matter, no matter how many enemies there are, it'll deal three damage to every one that can hit. Like I said, there are some enemies that you can't hit or that will just be immune to all fire damage. So yeah, I don't really need to do that since there was a healing block here, but honestly, it was a waste of my time. Oh crap, I forgot to set up the timer. Oh well, I'm gonna say it's been four minutes. Hey, hey, hold it right there! Yeah, you! You, yeah, you, suspicious guy, don't move! Haha, <laughs> <laughs> you're Mario! I knew you can't get past here, Mr. Big Shot! It's a direct order from Goomba King, that's right! I'm sorry, but the only way through is through the Goomba Brothers. That's me, Red Goomba, my brother, Blue Goomba. Goomba, Goomba. Let's get him, big bro! Oh, Blue Goomba. Oh, yeah, let's do it, my red brother! I, I meant to do, like, a, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I totally screwed that up. So. Let's tattle Blue Goomba first. This is Blue Goomba. He's the younger of the two notorious Goomba brothers. Max HP 6, attack power 1, defense power 0. As you've heard his little uh, his little speech, he's one of the Goomba King's men. He doesn't look that healthy. He's weaker than his brother. So if I was smart, I would have kept the uh, Fire Flower for this battle. But I really don't care. Honestly, I don't. It's just not that important. Mario, how do you like some of this? Yeah, 1 damage. One damage. There's just two of them. One. They're just powerful. Well, they're not even powerful. They just have a lot of HP. Whoa, Goomba! Get out of my little brother! You'll pay for that, Mario! Tattle him. This is Red Goomba. He's the older of the two notorious Goomba brothers. Max HP 7, attack power 1, defense power 0. So no difference except he has one more HP. The Goomba King ordered him to try to stop you. You can take this guy, no problem. He's just like has a little bit more HP than an ordinary Goomba. <laughs> Alright, so I'll just hammer him. As you can see, we're just going to be slowly dealing with a bit more damage at a time. And... Honestly, a lot of these old fights, not these old fights, these early fights, will be this. It'll just be trying to deal damage to enemies that just don't want to take damage, and that's kind of... I don't know. It makes sense. If I were you, I would use the Fire Flower on this fight. Uh, honestly, it would cut their HP down, and you can beat one of them with one hit. Well, well two hits technically, but you can beat one of them with one jump, one like power jump, and one Fire Flower. And the other one will take one more fi uh, super jump and then one of your regular jumps. So honestly, it's an easy fight. I just decided against it because, you know, I didn't want to do the other fight. I always hate doing three things at once when I only have single hit attacks because you will get more intricate attacks. Yeah! I'll, I'll let you go for now! Oh, I don't like, like, it's not bubble. Gross. <laughs> Alright, now I just healed up and we're heading up here. <laughs> Freaking teleporting Goombaria. Oh, another item. Nope. Gives you enough time to run away. I messed up. <laughs> nah, it's fine. It's not like I would really get anything out of getting a first strike in these. Honestly, there's no point in getting first strike against regular Goombas when they're all regular Goombas because it won't help you any. It'll just say, oh hey, um, yeah, you suck. <laughs> You'll still finish it in two turns flat. No extra attacks in the second turn. It's not like it costs you anything to attack. And, Goomy King's Fortress ahead. Time to take a good glob of water. Goomba, help us! Mario, beat us up! Whatever you say, losers. Hey, look, Mario. See that building over there? I'm pretty sure there used to be a bridge on the other side. I wonder what happened to it. Oh? T-Rex? Uh, giant? fee fi fo fum David and the Goliath. Nope. Ugly, but kind of... 
yeah, <laughs> I'm not even gonna talk about it. Don't worry, it's true, you've made it this far, I respect you for that. Unfortunately, this is why you'll forget. Because I, the great and powerful King Goomba, was the, uh, you never advanced no farther. You hear that, Mario? No farther, no one step. Are you scared, little man? Why do you get an accent? <laughs> yeah, you're scared, alright. You wanna say you're sorry? Wow, that King Goomba is really huge. I'm sure he's no match for you, though, Mario. Let's get him. Already let me to wrath, Mario. You better be. I don't know what I was going for right there. I just went with the flow. Beat him up, King Goomba. We've got your back. Oh, even to me. Hey, Mario. I think maybe we have to take out the Goomba Brothers first, don't you think? They must be pretty weak since we just finished beating them up back there. So. You might say, but you should probably keep the Firefly for this fight, right? No, if you go over here, you can hit the Goom Nut Tree. Make that fall on their heads. Insta-kill. Only give four star points since you already beat them up recently. You don't learn much from beating them up over and over again. This is the Goom Nut King. He's really big. I mean, just look at him. He looks really powerful. Max HP 10, attack bar 1, defense bar 0. He's the boss of the red Goomba and blue Goomba. Who cares if he's strong? You're much stronger. And, gee, I wonder what he ate to become so big. I'd like to get a bit bigger myself. So, deals 2 damage with that attack. But only with that attack. Power jump. Deal 3 damage. And get a free jump in right here. So as you can tell, we're, we win next turn no matter what. So long as we don't somehow miss, which... I just fucked up. I just... Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. I'm not even gonna talk. I haven't done that in forever. Also, I just realized we still haven't had the chance to show off what the, uh... Uh... What is it called? Close Call Badge does. So, as I mentioned, BP is what I'm going to be going for for as long as I can go for it, until it's level 30. Or, not level, but 30 points in. Oh, what? How could I lose? They'll just go running in. Yeah, I knew we could do it. Cool! Victory! Oh, yes! You hit this, you get a star piece. Kind of a bit of slow, kind of bit. A little bit of slowdown right there, no idea why that is. I've always noticed that when I was playing on the Wii Virtual, the Wii Virtual Console. So you hit these. I'm not gonna hit that switch yet. Let's listen in on what they're saying. Right, Goomba, you're positive that you hit the switch well, right? Of course, King Goomba. I hid it in the grass outside the fortress. Uh, outside? You idiots! You didn't hide it in here! Mario will find it for sure! Oh, do you think? You know, I didn't think of that. So, yeah, that's important. That's how you're supposed to figure out it's out there. Oh, uh, Mario, good fight and all that. I must warn you how it, uh... However, if you happen to find a strange switch somewhere, you should definitely not press it. It's dangerous, understand? You what? You already pressed it? So, yeah. Oh, no! Rather in, I just want to point this out right now. If he was standing there, there, he'd be fine. But watch him as he pops up here. Boop! If he had just got off his thing off his stupid castle. And he got all the way up there, thinking he was safe. King Goomba's blasting off again! <laughs> Look, the bridge! Now we can cross it and continue our journey. Alright! So yeah, happy fun times. We just get to continue moving on. Screw him and all of his stuff. But we do have a few things to do here. One, no, nothing there. Get a coin there. Actually, we only have one thing to do here right now, now that I think about it. I need to learn how to spin since I haven't been doing this enough. So it's not in my habit. You get a super shroom here. Oh, these heal 10 HP, I'm sorry. Uh, mushrooms only heal 5 HP. Super shrooms heal 10. Ultra shrooms heal 50. As you can tell, or HP can go up significantly. I don't tend to get it up near 50, actually. I tend to get it up to like 20 and then just never touch it again. Because honestly, I don't need the rest of it. I, it's a nice safety net, but by the end of the game, I don't really need that. I have so much, so many badges, and I just need to just spam my attacks. Cutscene time. Oh, my ticking Bob, I've been looking for you. A report here, even though Mario has defeated the Goomba King. He's heading for Toe Town now. 
What unbelievable! What was Goomba King thinking? I used the Star Rider to make him a king because he begged me. And Mario whips him so easily? What a wimp! Ah, uh, Tammy Koopa, you are sure there's no way Mario can ever defeat us, right? Please. Please, please, your violence. Try to be calm. Goomba King is small town. I had a feeling he'd fail. It doesn't matter because you because while you hold the star rod, you're definitely invincible. You can never be you can beat Mario with one claw tied behind your back. <sighs> yes, yes, very good. <laughs> By the way, Ma Kami Koopa, those star spirits we captured don't have any way of giving Mario the power, do they? But, uh, please, don't worry yourself. Each is held separately, and each is carefully guarded by your hand-picked subjects. Even Mario can't save all seven of the star spirits. Um, who's the closest star spirit to Mario? It's that one in the Cooper Brothers' fortress, right? If Mario somehow reaches there, can the Cooper Brothers defeat him? King Bow- Oh, King Bowser, you mustn't worry. Sorry, I didn't get this voice down. Yeah! Here comes the Koopa Brothers! Uh, oh yeah, with the coolest of coo! Uh, psst. Gammy Koopa, are you sure these guys can get the job done? That Goomba King was gigantic, even he couldn't beat Mario. <laughs> yeah, get real King Bowser. Yeah, the Goomba King was huge, but he was a total wimpola. We're nothing like him. See, what we've got going on is the, tow the power of teamwork. Together we can put the herd of Mario in second slat. Excellent, that's the spirit, so it, Koopa Brothers. Sure, King, that special attack you do so well. Yes, ma'am. Ready, everybody? Oh, oh. Th that is, uh, this is, oh. I'm glad I don't have my window open. How do you like it, Bowser? King Bowser, how <laughs> was Oh yeah, oh yeah, excellent, really. I'm not even easily impressed either. Mori won't have a chance if you finish him with that attack. <laughs> We're taking Bowser. By the way, my Koopa brothers, about that captured star spear I've locked up in your fortress. Who's guarding him right now? Uh, nobody, sir. You know, we're here, and so... You idiots! Use your heads! Go back to the g fortress and guard that star spirit! Woo! Yeah, that was, I honestly love those cutscenes. <laughs> and you guys tell me, do you like me voice voicing over everything? Is that something you like, or do you just want me to be silent and just talk about something on Toy Android? Because I want to know what you guys want. These Let's Plays I do, I do do them somewhat for myself as well, because honestly this really stress and it's just fun to do. But honestly, I love entertaining you guys, and I love to hear your guys' input. Just message me back and tell me what you think. <laughs> All right, so we got everything out of Co uh, not Koopa, Toe Town. Hi, Mario. I'm so glad you're okay. This town is an opera. The princess is captured. The fairy castle uprooted. It's Bedlam. I don't, I don't know what we can do about all this. Please, Mario, help save her highness. I'll, I'll save her highness. <laughs> I'm hilarious. No, but honestly, that was stupid. <laughs> Jump up here. I remember that. I I don't think there's anything back here. No, I didn't figure. So, a few things to do here. One, Toe Town News Flash. Princess Peach is Princess Peach kidnapped. Cotton Castle uprooted. A few days ago, Princess Peach's castle was stolen. She was inside and is presumed kidnapped. The whereabouts of the princess are unknown. Where the castle once stood, there is now a gaping hole in the ground. According to witnesses, this castle rose into the sky. As soon as we get new information, we'll post follow-up reports on this board. And if you go to the back of the board, Toe Town Underground News. I'm scribbling on the back of this notice board. How naughty. I heard Bowser was defeated by Mario was defeated by Bowser. How ominous. The gossip loving toad. So, this is all fun stuff. We really don't have anything to do right, down, or left right now. So we just have to head up towards uh, Shooting Star Summit. The way you're supposed to do this part of the game is remember which direction you went during the opening cutscene to get Princess Peach's castle. And we know it's just past the castle, thanks to uh, Goompapa. Um, I think I have a cut on the right side of my lip. It's bothering me. <laughs> 
So as you can guess, this is a very plot heavy part of the game. The entire game won't be like this, but will be like really actiony bits and then really plot heavy bits. That tends to be how this game works. We'll have just random plot filled episodes and then nothing relating to plot for a few episodes where we do a bunch of either side stuff or we just do pure action and just minor plot stuff mixed in. So yeah, this is Shooting Star Summit. Home of the, well, not home, but really the closest place to Star Heaven you can get on planet Earth or wherever this is in the Mushroom Kingdom. Welcome, Mario. We've been waiting for you. We're the Seven Star Spirits. Our job is to grant the wishes of good people from our home in Star Haven, a place high beyond the sky. We're going to tell you something incredibly important. Please listen carefully. The other day, Bowser and his followers invaded our peaceful Star Haven. They stole our prized treasure, the Star Rod, which we've cared for since the beginning of time. The Star Rod is, is powerful beyond belief. It can grant any wish. For as long as we can remember, Bowser has been making wishes like, for instance, I'd like to trance Bowser, or I'd let, I want Princess Peach to like me. Of course, stars are, ignore such selfish wishes. As a result, her wishes were ne his wishes were never granted. Bowser, that fiend. And when he found out that we were ignoring his wishes, he came and stole the Star Rod so he could grant his own wishes. He seems to be content right now, mainly because he defeated you and captured the princess. Soon enough, though, I fear he will wish for more, and then terrible things will happen. It is the responsibility of the seven Star Spirits to keep the set in the Star Rod and safe and use it properly. Good job there. We must get the Star Rod back from Bowser and return it to its rightful place. In order to do this, Mario, we need your help. Like, sadly, right now you are not strong enough to challenge Bowser. He's made himself all-powerful by making wishes with the Star Rod. He's terrible to behold. Once we start, once we seven Star Spirits are reunited in Star Haven, we can give you the power to fight Bowser, even with his newfound strength. With our help, you can prevail. Maybe we are. Alas, we've never exhausted the power to talk to you. Although it looks like we're beside you, it is only an illusion. We're using our strength to communicate with you over a great distance, but even now our strength is fading. What do you say, Hitler? We've been at the Gary and are being held for Bowser's followers in different places throughout the Mushroom Kingdom. Please, Mario, first of all, you must rescue us. In order to take the Star Rod back from Bowser and save Princess Peach, we need your help. Please, Mario, you are our last hope, and we will. Mario, it looks like things are a lot more serious than I thought. Do you think the princess is going to be alright? I'm really worried about her. Save and continue again. <laughs> Mario's probably hurt. Everyone's in prison. The Mushroom Kingdom will be destroyed if things continue the way they're going. Something must be done. If only someone could help me. Man up. Also, does Peach have, like, much redder hair than she does nowadays? Ha <laughs> ha! My dear Princess Peach, how are you doing this fine day? It's no use waiting for Mario this time, my dear. It's so high above the quads right now. Even Mario doesn't have a chance of reaching us up here. You know, Princess, as long as I have this star rod, no one in the Mushroom Kingdom can touch me. You know the power that grants the star's wish that grants everyone's wishes. It's mine. Isn't that just wonderful? <laughs> Imagine what it's like down there in your kingdom. Your subjects must be so upset because their wishes aren't being granted. I just want to point this out right now. Bowser's just showing off and is being a dick. Cami Koopa is just being a total wench. She's always like this to Princess Peach, by the way. Oh, how delightful. They deserve it for the way they've treated us Koopas over the years. If you, you know, want, want anything, all you have to do is ask, Princess. I can grant wishes. Of course, I only grant requests they like. Anyway, think about it. You take care, Princess Peach. Enjoy your stay here. You watch yourself, Princess. You better not cause any trouble. <laughs> Please, if someone could help me. Hmm? 
Huh? Hello, Princess Peach. Pleased to meet you. My name is Twink. Uh, but you're... you're a star kid, aren't you? How'd you get here? I came from Starhaven to grant your wish. It's our job to grant wishes, you know. Oh, but you came because I wish that someone could help me? Yes, of course. Oh, that's just great. Thank you so much for coming. Here's my wish. Go right now and take the Star Rod back from Bowser, okay? Think you can do it? What kind of... If they could do that, you'd think we'd be in this mess. Stupid thing. Sorry. <laughs> um... Oh, looks so sad. Uh, sorry, that's a little much for a novice star like me. Maybe one of the honorable star spirits from Starhaven could who could grant a wish like that. I'm so sorry. Please ask something easy, something a small star can do. Uh, then can you take me away from here? Everyone in my castle has been kidnapped, and I have to save them all as soon as possible. You're in your castle. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't grant that wish either, I'm afraid. Actually, I just called up the, the sky a day ago, so I can't do any big wishes yet. By the way, during the intro cutscene, you saw star, our little child star flying up. That was him. If I were a more splendid star, maybe I could actually help. It's alright. Don't be sad, Twink. Mario will definitely do something to save us all. He's probably coming right now. <gasps> oh, Twink! Do you think you could find Mario? I want you to give this to him. <gasps> He's just so happy. This is a lucky star, isn't it? Oh, I'll do it. Princess Peach will fly to the Mushroom King just as quick as I can. Oh, wait, Twink. Wait one second. Can you also... Please tell Mario that... I'm fine. He shouldn't worry. Okay, can you tell him that? <laughs> yeah, of course. I'll tell him your exact words, Princess Peach. Definitely. Now you don't despair. I'll be back. I'll be back soon. So stay safe until I return. Okay. Mario, where are you? All right, guys. Andrew, let's pop in here. I believe there's what I'm looking for over here. Uh, I was hoping there was a save block over here. I don't think there is. Okay, this looks really cool and all, but I won't be showing this off because I don't need that for quite some time. By quite some time, I probably need two episodes from now or something. So guys, I can't end the episode yet. I wanted to end it like three minutes ago, but cutscenes and whatnot. So, fun types. Ow! Ouch! I'm so, I'm so sorry, so sorry. I'm in a big hurry. <gasps> so happy. Oh, it's, you're Mario, aren't you? Thank the stars that I found you. <laughs> happy, 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 happy. How do you do? I'm Twink. Princess Peach asked me to find something for you. I'd bring something to you. Ah, uh, yes, here it is. Here, this is it. Take it. Where can he be? Where, does he have pockets? So this allows us to do the action command. That's the lucky star from Princess Peach. Now it's yours, you can use the action command. May I take a moment to explain the action command is? This is important, Mario. I think I want to know what it is. Okay, you don't even know. Then once you understand how to use the action command properly, you'll be even more powerful. Terrific! You'll be much tougher in battle now. Here you are. What? It can't be. Were you following me? <laughs> what a foolish star kid. I knew that if I followed you, I'd find Mario. I've had to be Mario right now. I'll be famous. So tell Cammy Hoopa. She'll show her with, with praise. She'll give me a raise. Here I come. They'll do minor rhyming throughout the game, and I love every moment of it. So this is going to be really simple. Let's just tattle first turn. This is Magic Koopa. Magic Koopas use magical rods. Max HP 8, attack power 3, defense power 0. Magic attacks are no joke, Mario. You better take these guys seriously. So how this works is... He seems powerful, he doesn't seem like we can beat him, right? Well, a few things. One, if you jump, you can actually do with good time, you can do two jumps in one hit. Meaning we can do two damage to him right now. Or, with this, we can double our damage in general. Four damage. And, you can also guard, but I failed at guarding there because I, I'm starting to get in Sticker Star. And the guarding system is totally different in that one. So I'm just going to beat him right here. No more showing that off with such a powerful enemy. 
and it's not really that powerful, but he gives a good experience, which is nice. We wouldn't be able to take a few of those, though. A few of those enemies would just demolish us. Well done, Mario. You're strong as I say. I know that you'll be able to defeat Bowser. I'm gonna return to Princess Peach's side. I'm not strong. I'm not strong enough to really help her, but at least I can tell you're okay. Well, Mario, see you later. I love Twink. He's definitely one of my favorite characters. Him, Junior Troopa, and a few others. Oh dear, I almost forgot to tell you the message from Princess Peach. I'm alright, so don't worry about me. That's exactly what she said. I get the feeling, though, that's just very lonely. Anyway, I'll do my best to help the both of you. But please be brave, you must save Princess Peach. <coughs> Excuse me. There he goes. Back to Bowser's castle. What a brave little guy. Okay, Mario, let's get down to business. Let's get down to business to defeat the Hans. Alright, so we're gonna head right into here. The thing is that we're gonna get a little cut today. Because I'm kinda getting tired tonight, so I might head to bed, so I'm not gonna do a little cut here. Oh, Mario! My home is looking for you. He lives in the house with the spinning roof. You asked me to tell you where it, where it, blah, blah, blah. He just wants to talk to us very much. We'll be talking to him next episode. So next time, let's play Paper Mario 64. We're gonna get into the major. We're, we're gonna be done with the prologue. We're gonna get into chapter one, and we're gonna we're gonna go after the seven star spirits. So guys, honestly, I have nothing to say except that I'll see you guys next time.